Hello, my dear students. How are you all there? Miss Anna is here once again. I hope that you will enjoy this lesson. Now, this lesson is all about the spelling words from the story How I Spent My Summer Vacation by Mark T. Now, let's begin. Spelling words number one. Now, look at this picture. What can you say about this one? What are they doing? What do you call that thing coming out from those mouths or from their mouths? Excellent. Voices. Now repeat after me. Voices. V O I C E S. Voices. Now what do you mean by the word voices? Express something in words. For example, when you sing, when you shout, and when you utter or pronounce or read those words, those are your voices. Okay? And sometimes voices may vary from the tone or the pitch. Now it could be a very high or a very loud voice when you shout or scream. It could be a low voice or a very soft voice when you wanted to whisper some words to someone else. Voices. Next, example. The baby's loud voices is starting to annoy me. Yeah, for example, that baby is really hungry. So, definitely the baby will cry and maybe will ask for some milk and maybe somehow it will annoy you because if you cannot be able to give his or her milk, then that baby will still continue to cry and doing the, those loud voices. Say it one more time, voices. Number two. Look at this picture. Okay. Cowboys. Cowboys. Now, from the story how I spent my summer vacation, you know already what is a cowboy. Cowboys are workers on a cattle ranch. Cowboys. For example, the hats are too small for the cowboys. C-O-W-B-O-Y-S, Cowboys. Number three, look at that. What do you call that thing? Do you have like that? You know, when I was a kid, I still remember that I had that one. Yeah, that is called a piggy bank. Now, how about those things on top of it? Can you name those things? Yes, they are coins. Just like your one RMB coin. Coin. A coin is a flat, typically round piece of metal with an official stamp used as money. Coin. For example, I put a coin in my piggy bank. Coin. Next is... Wow, look at this picture. Now, what can you say about this thing? What are they doing? Yeah, they're having some kind of relaxation, having a rest. Yes, enjoyment. Enjoyment. The state or process of taking pleasure in something. Pleasure. That means you are having pleasure or happy from that thing. For example, in that picture, they're having enjoyment. Now, for example, recreation is offered for guest enjoyment. It's like us, we can play games, or you can go on the beach, or you can travel, go on a trip, 
to have some enjoyment or you can cook whatever anything that's that you can get happiness the state or process of it is called is called enjoyment next is oh have you watched this movie the movie is inside out this is a very nice movie now what can you say about what is she doing yeah that is called joy it shows that this girl is having joy a feeling of great pleasure in happiness because of too much happiness she's like jumping and smiling wide okay for example i was filled with joy to see you. joy next is now in this picture what can you say about this thing that the, the woman is handling this particular thing and pouring it into his uh, into her car so this is called oil now there are many kinds of oil we have cooking oil we have baking oil we can put it into our hair and this particular oil is used for vehicles or automobile or cars an oil is a viscous liquid used as a fuel or lubricant now, for example, in this particular scene, this woman is using this oil as a lubricant. Now, there is another thing. When you, if you will go to the gasoline station, and if you need that particular gas, then you need that oil as a fuel. Now, that squeaky wheel needs some oil. That oil is used as a lubricant to make it uh, more lubricant next is wrangler wrangler do you know what is a wrangler yes a wrangler is a person in charge of horses or other livestock on a ranch wrangler laugh is a great wrangler kid now from the story how i spent my summer vacation laugh is the name of the kid so he was captured by the cowboys and he became a rang he became a matador and wrangler. He was a great matador and also a wrangler because he learned some cowboy tricks like roping, riding horses. Wrangler where it is. Oh, I remember this picture. This uh, image came from the movie. Jumanji. Now, what do you call those animals? Why is this man running so fast? Yes, it is called Stampede. Follow Miss Anna. Stampede. Stampede. When we say Stampede, it is a rush wildly in a sudden mass panic. The herd was fleeing back to the highland in a wild stampede. Stamping. This is very dangerous because if you are not going to run as fast as you can, or if you want, if you cannot hide to somewhere else, then you might be stepped on by these big and wild animals, and you might be die. You might die. Next is without, 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 in the absence of. We will start without you if you are late. So, for example, there will be a class meeting or a class activity or program. So, if one is absent, that means without that person. Next word is Bakaru. Repeat after me. Bakaru. Bakaru. What do you mean by the word Bakaru? Yes, it is also synonymous to the word cowboy. Cowboy. A buckaroo is a cowboy. Bluff is like a true buckaroo. Next, we're going to review the words, and once the word will be flashed on the screen, you need to take a moment and clap as you spell the word. 
For example, voices. V O I C E S. Voices. Would you like to repeat it? Voices. V O I C E S. Voices. Wonderful. Next is. How will you read the word? C O W B O Y S. Cowboys. Great. Cowboys. C O W B O Y S. Cowboys. Cowboys. Very good. You're doing great. Next. C O I N. Coin. Coin. C O I N. Coin. Next word. E N J O Y M E N T. Enjoyment. E N J O Y M E N T. Enjoyment. Now can you can you do it one once again? Okay. Next word is stamping. S T A M P E D E. Stamping. Now you can clap your hands as fast as you can, as slow as you can, but try to remember the words or the spelling of each word. Stampy. Wrangler. W R A N G L E R. Wrangler. Wrangler. Without. W I T H O U T. Without. Without. Very good. And this word is buckaroo. What do you mean by the word buckaroo again? Yeah, that's right. A buckaroo, it means a cowboy. B U C K A R O O. Buckaroo. Buckaroo. Very good. You can repeat after this. Next is joy. Oh, this word is very easy for you. This is only a three letter word. J O Y. Joy. J O Y. Joy. Next is oil. O I L oil O I L oil and for the last evaluation of the spelling words lesson is that you're going to look at each answer choice and circle the one that is spelled correctly. Of course you can be able to circle it. You can just say your answer, okay? Now for number one, which word do you think is spelled correctly as the word voices? Do you think it's the first choice, second, third, or fourth? Also, it's the second choice. Voices. Very good. Number two. How about in this word? Cowboys. Which word do you think is spelled correctly as the word cowboys? Are you sure it's the second choice? No. Yes, it's the fourth choice. Would you like to spell the word? C-O-W-B-O-Y-S. Cowboys. Cowboys. Very good. Now, if you have a notebook or a piece of paper, now you, I want you to copy the correct spelling of each word. Just copy the word voices, number one, and number two, cowboys, okay? So that you can also be able to write it properly. Next, number three. How about the spelling of the word buckaroo? Buckaroo. Excellent. It's the second choice. Now, this is a very confusing. Uh, these are very confusing choices because they seem to be very look the same. They look the same, actually. Bakaru. B U C K A R O O. Fantastic. That's the right answer. Number four. Wrangler. Wrangler. What do you think is the right spelling of the word wrangler? I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Try to think what is the answer. 
For those who can answer my question within three seconds, you are really, really great. Yeah, that's right. The answer is W-R-A-N-G-L-E-R, -E Wrangler. Number five, how about the word oil? Oil. Correct. The answer is O-I-L, oil. How about number six? Without, without. Without, without. What is your answer? Can you tell me the spelling of the word without? Yes, W-I-T-H-O-U-T, -T, without. Very good. Number seven, stampede, stampede. Mm, this is a little difficult. What will be your answer? You are right. The third choice. S-T-A-M-P-E-D-E. -E, stampede. Stampede. How about number eight? Oh, this is very easy for you. J-O-Y. Joy. Number nine. Enjoyment. Enjoyment. Correct. The answer is the first choice. E-N-J-O-Y-M-E-N-T. Enjoyment. And for the last number 10, coin. Coin. C-O-I-N. C-O-I-N. Coin. Now, before we end this lesson, I want you to read the words twice and spell it once. Voices, voices, V O I C E S. Can you do it after me? Voices, voices, V O I C E S. Cowboys, cowboys, C O W B O Y S. Buckaroo, buckaroo, B U C K A R O O. Wrangler, wrangler, W R A N G L E R. Oil, oil, O I L. Without, without, W I T H O U T. Stamping, stamping, S T A M P E D E. Joy, joy, J O Y. Enjoyment, enjoyment, E N J O Y M E N T. Coin, coin, C O I N. Now for just a minute, I'm going to give you, I will say the spelling and you will say the word. If I will say the word, you will say the spelling, okay? Now, are you ready? Now try not to look at this screen. O-I-L. O-I-L. J-O-Y. C-O-I-N. E-N-J-O-Y-M-E-N-T. Very good. B U C K A R O O W R A N G L E R C O W B O Y S S T A M P D V O Y C S Now let's change. I'm going to say the word and you say the spelling. Buckaroo Wrangler Stampede Enjoyment, coin, cowboys, voices, without, oil. Awesome. It seems like you all know these words. Now, word, you're going to number one. Review the spelling words and use each word in a sentence. Number two, write a short article about how did you spend your winter vacation. Write your own title and you need to be very creative. You can write your own story. What are those things that you did during your winter vacation now? I'm hoping to read 
more interesting stories for me. So this is the end of the lesson. Goodbye and have a nice day. I'll try to review the words and see you soon.